Who's good? I'm Spin the Leak, and it's time for another episode of Seven Days to Die. Now, these episodes are coming out a little slower. Fuck off. These episodes are coming out a little slower than I would have liked. Uh, but I'm being a little cautious, and the thing that's really holding me up is wondering exactly what I'm going to do for Horde Night. And I've, I've been mulling it over, I've been thinking about it, and I think the best course of action might just be to not have a horde base for the Night 7 horde. I mean, sure, I'll adjust it later on and maybe come up with a better idea of what I should do, but for now, that might be the way to go. It really depends on what I have on me, because it's it's not that much of a struggle with the 7 Night Horde. So let's say that the zombie spawn rate ranges from 40 to roughly 70. That's a chance at one or two dogs, and they walk, so it's not a big deal. I've fought bigger hordes before breakfast. As long as they're not running, I think I should be able to handle it. All I really need is a uh, little firearm, the bow, a quick access melee weapon, something to quickly dispose of bodies, a loot chest to go ahead and throw stuff into. I might consider a battle platform that'll slow zombies down a little bit more, or, you know, something along those lines in the future. But as it stands now, I don't really see much need for it. Uh, may, maybe somewhere down the line, I didn't realize there was uh, two holes in this fence. At some point, I'm going to clear out this entire area and loot it, because this is going to be my garden. I'm going to have to replace that fence, and there, I think, is a door that leads into this tower from the outside. I'm going to have to replace that. But I think my way in and out is going to be a little underground bunker, and I might turn that into the big workstation. So I'm going to loot a couple of POIs as, you know, quickly as I can. Get a feel for the area. If I see a, if I see a POI that I like, that I feel like I could turn into a decent horde base, I might just go after it. But I'm not really holding my breath. I think the best course of action will really just be meeting them on the street and seeing what's up. There's a nice little shed right there. We got a destroyed building. We got this garage, which I'm not going to touch for a good while. Uh, but out in front of us, I saw a couple of small POIs that might be a little bit more reasonable to actually look into. So let's go ahead and grab these up. I'll end up putting down something in the middle of the street, or uh, I'll put down one of these chests in the middle of the street so I can go ahead and consolidate loot there, so I can just go ahead and rapidly do them. And whenever it gets later in the day and I have a decent amount of stuff gathered, I will make a run over to Jimmy, sell a bunch of stuff, and then head back to our old base and grab a bunch of loot, bring it back. Maybe see if I can pick up the forge, because I'm not really sure how that works. I, I've heard of people picking up their forge, or their workbench, or like their cement mixer. Usually it's a land claim bo block or a bed. I, I've tried both, but I think I have to harvest it with a tool afterwards. I can't just say, you know, you're coming with me, and like, s pick it up. So I'm going to actually put down a chest in this intersection. I'm going to lay down the torches, and I made, made a couple of torches so that I can actually light the area up and use it for fighting if I need to. So my thought is, after I clear a building, uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to line the outside with torches to make sure that we're looking good. And I said I was going to wait until daylight for this one. I'm keeping good on my promise. I'm going to go and uh, go ahead and see if I can get uh, any masks. Uh, not masks. Where is my head at right now? I'm seeing if I can get... Ooh, meat. I'm seeing if I can go ahead and snag... A mining helmet from in here. So where'd the deer go? Oh, for a second I thought it was outside the fence. What is that a hatch? That looks like it's a hatch right next to us. Okay, after I go ahead and cut this carcass and get some good stuff, I'm gonna go ahead and look at that. Alright, so I found this hunting knife, I went ahead and skidded the deer, I've cleared out most of this yard, I'm going to make a couple more torches because I used it to light the inside of the fence and uh, the small shed we have here. And uh, I found out why the zombies weren't just breaking through, this was actually two separate doors, they tried to come through multiple directions, but they just couldn't seem to find a way out, so let's see what exactly we're dealing with. It looks like I might be able to see under it, uh, well I'll be damned. I can't really get through it too easily yet, 
But I'm gonna go ahead and bust this open, and it looks like there are iron bars underneath, either that or a metal ladder. So this could be an underground facility with an entrance nearby. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, th those are in fact iron bars, so I'm wondering exactly what we're dealing with here. Uh, if there are any other plates here, can I also see under these? No. You know, maybe later on in the day when I'm not carrying around raw meat, I'll look at it. For now, I'm gonna go ahead and drop stuff off and look at another nearby building. Uh, so, for, uh, get the fuck out of there, I didn't mean to. Fuck off. First things first, you're dangerous, get out, get out, get out. Uh, get out, get out, get out, get out. Fuck off, fuck off. Uh, you can also fuck off. I'm gonna hold on to these. I'm actually gonna get rid of this bone shiv, I'd rather have the knife on me. Just cause I like the hunting knife. The hunting knife, I feel, is slightly better. It's lower rate, but it's, yeah, it's better in my eyes, at the very least. What's with deer wanting to feed me today? What is wrong with this fucking deer? Now, this is another POI I haven't been in before, so I need to keep an eye out for booby traps. The The game tends to love to do that, I figure. I, I haven't seen much of it before coming here, but uh, I learned pretty quickly. Be careful of your surroundings. Get to know it a little better first. So that's exactly what I intend to do. I'm going to bust up this couch. I'm going to look around the outside. And then I'll work my way in. Through uh, a door that's not heavily guarded. And I'll keep an eye out for anything that could be potentially dangerous. I'm also crouching every now and then to make sure that nothing has picked up my scent or is looking for me. That is a nice big tip. Always be sure to use your crouch if you're not really sure that you're being followed. We've got a graveyard next door to us. So once we have... A decent shovel. Uh, I would be very happy to go in there and look around what we got in this vending machine. It's not too bad. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pick up the chrysanthemum. I'm going to check around the back real quick. And I, I'm trying to be careful in this tall grass, but I am still moving a little faster than I should. I want to make sure that there are no landmines. Okay, so we got a bird's nest here. A few arrowheads. Nothing too much is sticking out. I thought I heard a dog for a second, but it might just be uh, me panicking. I just fought the uh, the dog horde in uh, in my other free play world, which I'm about to do the day 21 horde. And uh, I'm still using that basic wood base. It's still standing strong. I don't know what the fuck's up with it. So just to make sure that I'm not going to get randomly accosted, I'm going to put the raw meat in the chest, and then I'm going to bust down one of these doors. I'll see which one has the least health and go from there. Alright, so this front door obviously has the least health. But I'm wondering what's waiting for me on the inside, so I'm going to go ahead. Break a couple of windows, get a torch in there. Uh, is there somewhere over on this side where I can do the same thing? Uh, I'm seeing some couches. That's either a storeroom or a kitchen that looks like a kitchen. A little lag spike right there. Wouldn't be a game without it. Oh, there's a ladder up to the roof. I should go ahead and check it out. I was about to see if there was roof access. Alright, so we got some decent iron sources up here. Nothing really laying on the ground that we can loot, unfortunately. But we have a good vantage point, so I'm not really going to let that go to wait a minute. Okay, it's nothing. I'm just going to go ahead and break down this door and get in there. Uh, that looks like a red shirt, or maybe Jamie off in the distance. Maybe I should handle him so... Oh! Oh! What kind of bear is that? Well, I'm asking stupid questions. What I need to do is get on top of my base and try to kill that fucker as soon as possible. Hey, it's a normal bear. That means we can get a fuck ton of meat. Come on, you ugly bastard. Fight me! 
Stop trying to fight me and fight me, you ugly fuck! Leave my house alone, I just got this place. Leave it alone! You ugly bastard! You can see why I chose to immediately run. Okay, back to the gun. I wish I could get some headshots in on him, but uh... I missed my chance. Fuck. No more bears, right? Holy shit. Who did that? We did that. Alright, I'm gonna harvest this and hopefully not die. Alright, what were we doing? We were trying to get into the bar. And... Oh, adult movies, even better. Wonder if they have any Betty Page in there. Knock knock, motherfuckers. You know what I should do? I should totally grab the animal fat and make more torches so I can start lighting the outside walls and stuff. That's what I need to do. Got a good bit of meat already. I got I got a ton of shit. Uh, I need cloth. Fuck. I, they are, they're loading me down, which makes me think that my long-term survival may not be the best. I'm seeing a lot of holes in the floor, and that makes me skeptic. Oh, perfect, there's cloth. That makes me think that there's going to be some booby traps somewhere in here. We, we got some crush right off the rip. I mean, can't be mad. Uh, I'm going to pick up these chairs, scrap them in my inventory, make quick work of them. Really just get him out of the way. I'm trying to be careful, but there's on, only so many ways I can, because I'm a very impatient motherfucker. Uh, is this the... That appears to be the bathroom, so there might be a gun in the toilet. Something close by. Holy shit, what the fuck? Okay. Over the bar. Doesn't appear to be anything, really. Oh! Aha! Sneaky fucks. You know, I'm surprised all that gunfire didn't bring that zombie in. Honestly, we probably would have been a little screwed if it had. It's noon already? Fuck. Okay, so we're probably going to explore, and now that I've seen that bear, I'm going to be a little bit more cautious about it. So we've explored a little bit of this, and we've explored the entirety of the upper portion across the street. It's not really much of an achievement, but it is something at the very least, and I'm not going to freak out over it. Uh, I would like if that drop had another gun in it. It's right over there. It's close by. So I need to be careful. Worst case scenario, I climb on a roof as quickly as possible. Oh. Didn't even see that there. Alright, so my comfort zone is going to be right here. The gun, the knife, and the, the wood frames. So if it comes down to it, if a dog's rushing at me, I'll just go ahead and blow its fucking head off. Because fuck that asshole. If I see a bear, I'm climbing on top of the nearest structure. Oh, this is nice. This is really nice. That looks to just be a junkyard. We got a water tower. That's not half bad. Oh, hey, Beth. How's it going? 
You're looking good, sweetie. Keep it up. Uh, that's a deer. It scared the shit out of me for a second because I thought it was a bear. There's a chicken. Uh, th this is this is uncharted territory right now. I'm not sure I want to be walking around with raw meat just yet. That's why it has been going directly in the chest. Now that appears. Yep, another another graveyard. So there's there's a lot of good digging in this area. I think I just ran over a duffel bag of some sort. Over here, we have some resource rocks, some obvious clay deposits. So we have all the makings of cobble to build a new structure or reinforce the base that we already have. And we've got a flashlight, part for the rocket launcher, and a schematic for gasoline. Let's go and take a look at you. Get. I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling good. Step path. Yeah. All right, so I'm just gonna sneak my way back over here and try not to get mauled by anything back to my comfort zone. It looks like we got, is that Lola? Lola, what's up? How you doing? You having a good morning? Oh, my bow's a little shitty. How you doing? You feeling good? You have anything to eat today? Oh, I missed. Nah, I don't think I've actually eaten either. You got a snack for me? I mean, I'm no vampire, but sure. Hey, Karen. Oh. Who's that? Oh, it's Tim. Tim snuck up on me. Karen, uh, I'll I'll get back to you in a second, sweetheart. Thank you. Awesome. Benny! What's up, girl? You coming to give me a good morning hug? Alright, I got something for you, too. Good to see all of you first thing in the morning. My best friends. Oh, and you guys are making sure I'm going fed and everything. Karen, what you got for me? Oh, you know I spoil me, girl. All right, so I'd say that's enough of this fuckery for now. I'm going to get back to my comfort zone. All right, we're back where we belong. I'm going to go ahead and light up this spot. I know that there's already light in that portion of the room, but uh, better safe than sorry. i going to throw something right there. Then I'm going to go ahead and break down this door, hop in there, make sure that I don't explode. Snag what I can, throw a single torch in this room, and then move on to the kitchen after that. We'll just find another building. I'm not sure I want to go into the movie theater just yet. That seems like a big spot. So I'm going to be a little cautious about it. Any of these toilets have a handgun? Murky water, can always use that to make glue. Alright, a little bit of money, not going to hate. Alright, I'm always happy to see nails and gunpowder. Now, with all these horses around, yes, I'll probably end up attracting a lot of screamers, but if they're all over the place, who's to say that the screamers will immediately be on my base? And I see a cook pot waiting for me. That would be exciting if I hadn't found one already. So far, I'm not seeing much in the way of stuff I can sell. And that's, that's okay for now. But later on, I am going to want to have stuff to sell. Yeah, some glass jars. I'm looking good on jars. Let's probably fill them up whenever I go uh, back to Jimmy. And we have a wall safe. That's good. So if we're looking safe, which I'll go ahead and poke my head out the door real quick, we might have enough time to open it up. All right, so let's assume we have enough time. I'll get cracking on it. All right, let's see what's in here. And all that just for a barrel. So I guess we can say that this place is thoroughly looted. We're going to put some torches around the outside so we get some additional visibility from this place. And I can remove some of the ones from inside because we don't need very many until later on. Just in the odd chance that we get stuck right in here. Alright, I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna place torches somewhere else. I could have sworn something just saw me. Alright, we're at 1600 hours. As of now, that's two houses looted. We're not looking too bad. Uh, I'm wondering if I should do this one or the small POI near the edge of town. Uh, either way, Beth girl, you gotta go. Oh, there might be a mining helmet here. 
I don't know. I find mining helmets mostly in cars and trash. I rarely find them at at a store that I really need to. Is that a cracker book or is that a shotgun messiah? I mean, I'd be happy with either or. That is a shotgun messiah. Fuck yeah. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and peek in these. Just going to loot some of these small nodes on the outside. Maybe find something worthwhile. Okay, I got I got a part of the nail gun. That's fucking good. Uh, pop a pill. I'm not, I'm not worried about the popping pills just yet. And what's that large structure? And probably nothing special. We got Jamie over there. We got another store right there. That one looks like... It might be another Shamway. Alright, I'm thinking we should go a little bit further away from the prison. Uh, so I'm gonna work towards the edge of town. If I see something too threatening out here, I'm just gonna turn my ass around. I wanna look at this POI. Because I think the last time I saw one of those was in the ghost town in Nava's Gain. Uh, and we got the Shamway foods, which I'm gonna want to loot at some point. Not that I'm hurting for food right now after the bear and the two deer. Jesus. But I'm still going to take a look. Beth, sweetie, don't do this. Beth. You trying to distract me from someone sneaking up behind me, is that it? No? Listen, sweetie, you, you, don't, you don't need it. Where'd you go? Where'd your body go? Girl, give me that body. Okay. I'm just going to look at this real quick. If there's something inside, it can break out. I don't care. And we got a passing gas right here. That's another good base. I love modifying the passing gas. My free play world before I get tired of it. Uh, just post in the comments down below. I'll give you guys like a little tour. So this, I think could be an interesting POI. Uh, and maybe a fun horde base? Because if it's laid out the way that it's looking like it is, then you could just clear out this bottom floor and uh, replace the top story with wood frames. Which could be fun. All you'd really have to do after that is knock out these stairs, which wouldn't be an issue because they're wooden. And yeah, we got a lock below right here. All right. Go ahead and slap that right there. Break this down. Get on inside. Hopefully nothing sneaks up behind us. I would break two stairs, but I, I still have a low-level wood axe. Uh, oh, stone axe. It's not entirely wood. So I'm not too comfortable with it. But after we loot this POI, we'll load up on some essentials. We'll go say hi to Jimmy. We'll pick up some stuff from the house. Uh, we, we might not make it to Jimmy before he closes. Eh, it'll be fine. Either way, we need to go to the house and pick stuff up and see if we can pick up the forge. If we can't, I'm all for it. If we can't, oh well. Ah, fuck. Where'd the bag go? I'm doing so well in my other world that I, I tend to just smash those things on impulse. So, my bad. There was probably some vitamins there. Or a blueprint or something. Speaking of blueprint. Uh, let's go ahead and scrap you. Uh, I haven't found this one yet, so I'm going to go ahead and read it. All right, not much up here. Let's go ahead and check the bottom floor, and then we can go ahead and light up the outside of this POI. See, there's an interesting one there. That That's going to have a hidden stash in it. Now, hold on a second. Why are there bars here? Is that gun safe? I'm going to have to look at that. Uh, I, I'm going to end up having to craft an actual... Uh, shut up, phone. Hello, Modo, and all that shit. I'm going to have to craft an actual pickaxe to get in there if that's actually the case. Which, it, it's good that we have so many good loot sources nearby. I'm not bitching, believe me. I'm excited. Ah, fuck. 
All right, let's grab these chairs, and that is, in fact, a gun safe. Let's go ahead and loot these. All right, that's all that is. Uh, the back door is heavily reinforced, so that's a good sign. Honestly, this small segment right here could really just be the base itself. Like this, it's got the metal reinforcement. All you really need is cement or cobble to upgrade these walls. Maybe knock out those mill two because or middle three because they only have about 500 health a piece. Knock that cobble out of the way, and just get a nice field of view all around. Reinforce the blocks underneath you. They're gonna end up gathering right underneath the window, and you're set. Slap that right there. And I think I'm actually gonna look at this trash real quick before I go anywhere. And maybe I should peek in here. If the door's unlocked, then that'll be good. Is that a working... Hey! Working stiffs! Fuck yeah! That's some good shit. And we got another one of those Old West POIs over there, it looks like. Alright, so I'm gonna come back here with, uh, with a little bit of inventory space later on. But right now, what I need to do is go ahead, head back, look through my chest, make sure I get everything sorted in a way that's convenient to load up during the night. And, uh... From there on, we'll just figure out if we're going to go outside the walls and gather resources, or sit inside and clean stuff up. Which, honestly, after that bear, I'm a little intimidated, not going to lie. But it's a fucking bear, who wouldn't be? I went ahead and slapped on these torches, don't know if I got that, uh, got that on the recording, but it happened. I did it. Alright, so now that I think about it, we did actually get the pipes that we need. Let's go and grab that. Uh, we're, we're looking directly at the essentials for right now. Because I'm going to move some of this stuff inside. You're good, you're good. I'd like to be able to craft glass, need water. Uh, I'd like to get the food in my shit as soon as possible. So, boom. And we're going to go ahead and scale the wall and deliver shit. Which, at some point, I need to harvest enough wood to go ahead and cover this place in spikes and upgrade them. I don't think that's going to be a tall order in the future, but for right now, yeah it is. We also need to go along this outside wall so that spider zombies can't scale it and replace these iron bars directly underneath us and close up this little building right here. So those are really the weak points. After that, all I have, really have to do is upgrade this to, uh, well, to concrete. And yeah, they're following me. All right, I don't have enough leather to craft the bellows, but surprisingly, I got 40 fucking animal hide. Don't even know where that came from. So, if I that one pipe will be enough, I should be able to go ahead and just craft a forge. I'll set it down in here and call it good. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and scrap you, scrap you. Uh, I'd like to find a hoe, or I'll just craft one later on if it comes down to it. Uh, let's see, maybe a torch? I don't really think I have anything to sell to Jimmy. My main concern... This night is really going to be just gathering stuff, so if I have clay, yes I do, and I have stone, I should be able to go ahead and craft a forge. There we go. Big and ugly, just how I like it. Slam me in there. Slam me here, slam me here. Uh, the anvil is what I want. I'm going to have to gather a little bit more wood. And once I actually have a bit more wood, clay, and iron, I'll go ahead and start crafting stuff up and smelting it. Oh yeah, I need to put this brass up. And I do have some stuff in here to crack open, I just don't want to spend forever doing it and going through my stone trying to bust it open all night. Which I do need to melt down the brass. I, really, more than anything, I'm going to need clay. But once I have about 12,000 clay, I'm good. It's not even a problem, because at that point, I, I think the clay, each point is roughly two or three points. So it just grows like nobody's fucking business. If you get rid of a stack, you'll have like 30,000 points of clay in the forge. I don't know how it ends up. No, it's not 30,000. It's about 20,000, I think. But yeah, no, it's ridiculous how the clay scales. All right, so this is set. I'm going to go ahead and throw the anvil in you. Boom. Uh, it'd be nice to find the tools and the calipers, but I think that's going to be a good minute away. We should go ahead and, since we're here, 
craft another torch to have on us. We'll go to the old house. We'll grab some more stuff. We'll run our way back. And this is going to be a dangerous night mission. So, of course, I'm going to keep my gun on me. I'm going to keep the gun right next to the torch. I'm not interested in looting right now. I'm interested in getting my shit and getting back here. And, of course, once I'm inside the old base, uh, my biggest concern... This doesn't have light on it. My biggest concern is actually going to be... Uh, <laughs> making sure that the frame's close by, so I'll probably end up putting up the knife or something. Is that zombie still near us, beating on the wall or anything? No? Doesn't look like it. Alright, he's trying to find a way inside. And like I said, he's gonna go right there, because that's the weakest point. Because there's a door in, and there's another door to the inner gate, and after that, all he has is a little bit of fence to get through. Ugh, time to hold my breath. Make sure I don't fucking die. I like that I can see everything around that building, though. That makes me happy. That lets me know I did a good job. It's another thing, uh, it's day four, so I'm a little bit worried about the dog horde showing up out of nowhere. So I'm gonna be careful about that. Which, the dog horde isn't bad, it's just gonna be two or three dogs. Uh, usually two or three days before the horde, you'll get attacked by a swarm of dogs to make sure that you're ready for it. Just kind of a reminder going, hey, fucker, uh, you'll die. Fucking drop. You're dead. I hate you because you sound like you're five zombies. You son of a bitch. Alright, let's get away from them. I really don't want to waste too much time fighting them. As long as they get away from me, that's all I can ask for. Whenever I come back, they better not be there. If they are, I'll go ahead and kill every last one. But you see what I mean? That's a, I, I can see what exactly is around here. Look at that shit. If I can go ahead and put that around every building that I loot, one, it's going to attract streamers. Yeah, definitely. But two, it's going to be cozy. I like that. Now, you might be wondering why I'm running in this direction. Uh, I just want the familiar territory. I don't want to stumble across, like, some sort of hidden dog den or something like that, you know what I mean? Alright, home sweet home. Quickly check the garden, see if the values have increased any. If they are, it'd be a good time to pick. No, nope, not likely. Honestly, I've been doing some experimenting with, uh, with the farms on my own time. And, uh, I I've learned that a lot of the... Fruits and vegetables have their own developmental rate and, you know, what they prefer. Some do better with just tilled soil, some do better with fertilizer. There, there's a lot of variables. Like mushrooms, for example, they do fine just on their own. Don't need anything special added. But there's other things that require a little bit more attention. Like, uh, it, it, I'll put it this way. If you plant corn in just regular ground, you're going to get a one-to-one -one return. Uh, if you plant it in tilled ground, you're going to get a two-to-three return. If you put it in fertilized ground, it'll be a four-to-five return. And it's similar with blueberries and aloe and all those various bits and bobs. It really depends. I don't know why I'm smacking this. I don't need to. I need to just grab my shit and get out of here. Grabbing you. I'm leaving that torch to mark that door. Uh, I need to remember that there's stuff up here. Once I actually get some decent equipment, I will definitely be back. And the big question is why I take. Obviously, I want all the weapon parts and the sellables. Um, we got some good materials. Bullets, nails, paper, gunpowder, glue. It's all excellent. I'm thinking about food, but I'm not sure that I want to be running through the dark carrying raw meat, because every single time a pig ran at me, I lost my fucking mind. Uh, I don't want to grab this cotton just yet. I would much rather have this gunpowder, in all honesty. And instead of... Instead of these metal arrows, I would rather have the feathers. The cook pots I can hold on to because they're, they're good to build up and sell. And that's pretty much all I'm going to be taking from here right now. So I'm actually going to switch out the knife with frames so that I can get back inside and start working on stuff. If I get home before 
Sunrise, which is actually looking pretty likely, and I'm not a fan of that idea. Okay, um, I would uproot the garden this time around, but I want the food to be like one solid run. Because if I have a day where I'm slow, I can go ahead and plan out then, and yes, you might have noticed I'm missing a little bit of health, I ran over a couple of cacti. Don't bring it up. Okay. Let's go. Fuck. The fuck was that noise? I don't know if that was in the game or real life. It sounded like a door open and closed. That scares the shit out of me. I have no idea what the fuck that was, but it came out of the blue. And it's not great. Like, that scent chills up my fucking spine. Oh. I like being in the... I, 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 like, I like having the freedom of movement. Not gonna lie. But sometimes being out here in the dark just scares the ever-loving piss out of me. There's no big reason for it. It's just the fact that I can't really see what's in front of me. That's all it is. Like I said, pigs running at me scare me to death because I can't tell if they're trying to kill me. Or if they're just wanting to walk over and snoop me. Like, walk over, they touch me with a little snout, sniff all over me, I'm like, Oh, you cute little piggies! You know? Shit like that. But no, I feel like they're rabid hogs that are gonna run out and start munching on my face. More to the point, these rocks are petrifying me, because all I'm seeing is a round shadow off in the distance. Who is that? Who is that? That Arthur? Hey, Arthur. But I'm seeing all these round rocks, and I, I keep thinking every last one is a bear. You know, I, I have been fooled before. I'm not happy about it, but I have definitely been fooled before. I'm seeing Karen over there. Either that or it's Beth. One of the two. Are you Beth or Karen? You're Beth. And I'm, I'm kind of hoping that that horde isn't near our house still. I highly doubt it would be. But it's still something I'm thinking about. And if it does happen to be there, I'll handle it. But uh, if I could just avoid that entirely, I'd be cool with that too. I I'm not against fighting. I love it. Uh, I mean, I I'm, I'm sitting here talking about doing a horde night without a base. But um, at the same time, my inventory is full. I'll fight them until morning. I don't give a flying fuck. But uh, if I can just get in and drop this stuff off first, you know, that's, that's really what I'm looking for. I will say this, though. If a bear catches us out in the open right now, that, that's, that's the end of... Oh, Arthur scared the piss out of me. That's the end of this fucking playthrough. Like, we are not outrunning a bear. If I climbed on top of one of these rocks like you've seen me skillfully do in the past... Uh, that's not going to save me. Because unless it comes at it from a certain angle, it's going to path its way up the rock. And where are we then? Bone City. And not in a good way. Ugh. It's fucking petrifying. That's another thing. I keep saying it's darker than piss out here. It is. It's fucking dark as hell. I don't want to be running around. Hey, it's Big Jim. I don't want to be running around with raw meat right now. Because I still haven't explored enough of the town to figure out if there are going to be dogs. And right now, I have no stamina. That's not great. We'll run past the working stiff's tools. Avoid Penny. It's not, it's, it's not that I don't like you, Pen. It's just, right now, I got more... I, I got other things on my mind, sweetheart. I'm sure you understand. Yeah, I hope she understands. All right, I'm going to go ahead and slap a torch right here. Because I want to be able to see. <laughs> I want to be able to see later on if I decide to do the rest of the looting of that place at night. Honestly, tomorrow I'll probably go to an, one of these broken down POIs. Or I'll focus heavily on gathering wood so I can put spikes around the base so I don't have to run out and clear everything out myself. Or if another bear decides to chase us, I can just fucking do something about it. Or I could come out to a dead bear. That'd be nice. Free food. Okay, I'm not seeing anything around us. But I'm still going to be careful. 
I'm actually going to go around to the left side. That way I'm closer to the door. Plus, that's the direction the horde was coming from, so if they got stuck on the house, I'll see it a little bit sooner. Oh, thank fuck. Okay. It's nice to be home. And I need to put in a better door, or well, I actually need to put down a door at the bottom of the steps, so... Let's go ahead, sort stuff out. There we go, gun parts and all this good shit. Clothing, fuck yeah. Burning barrels, even better, glass jar. Okay, that is... that's great, I'm happy about that. Uh, is there anything we haven't put in the furnace that probably should be in there? More importantly, did they breach the fence or try to while I was gone? Uh, I'm not... It's hard to see any damage from here, but it doesn't look like any of them made it inside, so we're good. And we still have to clear out the towers. I think there might be zombies in there. But, uh... uh th there's there's a lot left to do here. Okay, all we're really missing for that is the grill. Let's go ahead and re-equip the knife. And I'll happily go outside and grab the rest of the stuff. I don't mind at all. I just don't want to make another trip to the house just yet. I think the best course of action right now might be making arrows. That way we can upgrade our weapons. And then, in the morning, we can turn around and grab resources. So, we actually have a lot of greenery around us. And that means that there's going to be clay deposits, and we saw a couple of decent resource rocks. So that, that could be one way to go about it. Let me make sure this uh, this top floor is looking good. Can I loot you from outside the cage? No, I can't. I actually have to break that down. But we should get our tools up as soon as possible so we can loot these cells. Because there is some good stuff in here. Where's that light coming from? Like, is there a light under the bed? There's a light under the bed. There could be a secret passage, too. I wouldn't be too keen on. Uh, I also need to bust out all these windows and replace them. Okay, so there's the desk. I could try to break down that door and get in there, maybe get into that crate. I'm not sure how beneficial that'll be right now. There's also this room that I've never seen inside of. I think it's just another way to a tower. Got a lot of dead bodies in these cells. There, there could be some good stuff in there. Oh, that's where the light's coming from. It's, it's the light underground. And it looks like the sun will be coming up pretty soon. It looks like we only have one more hour. So I might just peek outside and see where we're sitting. All right, so here's what I'm thinking. Tomorrow, I think we'll start by clearing out what's going to be our garden space. And then we'll hop out back here. Because we have a lot of good resources. We, we got these easy to knock down little trees. Uh, the highest one in the area is going to be 300 health, and we have these little resource stones. And while we're hacking away, these guys can go ahead and bust open this fence, make it easy for me to go ahead and grab any loose loot on the outside. And then I can put some torches around the fence, and once I get inside, I'll go ahead and put torches around the building. So Screamers will be more likely to spread out in this area. I don't think they'll focus solely on me, unless... I, I have all my forges and stuff going at the same time, you know, I, I still need to put a door there. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and craft a fucking door. I'm, I'm sick of looking at it. I'm sick of stressing about it. I'm doing that now. But yeah, no, that's, that's where I'm sitting. Right now, all I need to do is gather resources, focus on fortification. I'll cut up corpses and light up the rest of these buildings as I loot them. But, uh, there's not too much really left to be done in all honesty. And this bridge sketches me out. Like, nine times out of ten, I'll come out, I'll close the door, and I'll just, like, shoot up over the bars and land back in the center of the bridge. I don't like it. Hey, good morning! Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and focus on stuff tomorrow. But for tonight, like, comment, subscribe, keep on keeping on. I will see you in the next one. See, we had a good day!